Hello, this is Aquarian Christianity. This is Mark. My name is Mark. This is Aquarian Christianity. Greetings, deceivers and non-deceivers. I am clinically, supposedly insane. Um, when Toby Mac did his DC, one of his DC Talk albums, Free at Last, he had a quote in there from one of he had, he had a a line in there. Uh, I the song was called the hard way. The song was called the hard way. He said, "I'm a victim of the nature of me." Is that right? Is that accurate? And Toby Max out on his own now. But um, he said, it took me long, so long to see that I'm a victim of the nature of me. It's accurate, it's true. Back in the past, I was blaming people for. My own faults. I said, well, if this person hadn't done that, I would have done that. I was blaming other people. I wasn't seeing my sins. And I thought, well, there's all these evil people out here that are much worse than I, than I am. They're to be blamed. And they are to be blamed. But we are to be blamed for our own sins. Because we think that if everything were right in the world, I would have a happy life. But um, we are slaves to our sins. Or Paul said he was slave to his sins in Romans 6 through 8. We are the ones who destroy ourselves. I remember being a child, and I remember the first time I sinned. And um, I was being tortured. And I sinned. And I knew it was wrong. And um, I did it anyway. We see that we need Jesus. Jesus is the way. We are not the way. You know, there's not some savior out there, that popular kid in high school, that popular boy or girl in high school, or that popular person on YouTube. That is not the solution. We are not the solution. We are the problem. I think it's important to see ourselves like the rest of humanity. Humanity has a problem. Jesus is the solution. We make our own lives worse. When I was a child, before I sinned, I was happy. I was happy and no one could take away my happiness until I sinned. After I sinned, I wasn't very happy. I really wasn't happy after I sinned. I might laugh or be happy for a moment, but a state of happiness I didn't have anymore. And I might have been upset before I, before I sinned, but I was basically happy. I was Overall, I was happy. We are a victim of the nature of ourselves. Stop looking to, well, if this person didn't do that, and I don't need Jesus, we don't need that. We need to see that we're a victim of our, of our own sin. We're a victim of our own lives. And Jesus saves us from that. Jesus gives us, I should say, Jesus gives us victory from that. You will call his name Jesus because he will give his, his people victory over their sins. As Paul says in Romans 8, thanks be to God, though you were slaves to the sin. You know, it, said, it goes on, it says Christ gave you victory over the sin. See, we ruin ourselves. If we marry somebody just like us, we will do the same things they will do. They will blame us and we will blame them. That's what happens. See in yourself a problem. 
go to Jesus. He's the only, only solution. He's the only way to a happy marriage for a long term, except for in the short term. You can be happy in marriage for about a week or two, maybe, or maybe a month or six months. You cannot be happy in a marriage long term without Jesus Christ. You just can't. Or without, yeah, without Jesus Christ, really. Okay. Amen. God bless.